Let's see. Hey, y'all. What's up? I'm in California. And uh, this is my first time going live on YouTube. We did it during the escape tour. Oh, that was a long time ago. Well, it's been a long time since I went live on YouTube. And I decided that I was going to go live because really, to be honest, I was a little bored out here in L.A. I miss home. I went straight from New York after the reunion and came straight to L.A. because I have to shoot another show here on Monday. So, hey, everybody. I'm seeing you in the comments. Um, what's up? I see everybody. Um let me see. Devin T says, hello, Candy. Will you read the comments? Yes, I'm going to read the comments. Um, yeah, I'm going to read comments. I'm just going to be on here for a little while. Just, you know, just say what's up. Say hello. You know, chat, chit chat, kick it, talk. Um, <laughs> it's so the comments are going so fast. It's like crazy. Like, y'all are lining up quickly, so I'm going to... Do you want me to find someone you're Yeah, Jamie is here. Wait, what is this? What is that saying? It says, this message is hell for review. You, will you have it set where certain things are... Oh, live? Devin said, don't go live on Instagram as well. No, I'm not going live on Instagram as well. I'm just going live here. Um. So, it says, let me turn this on. Okay. So let's see what everybody's talking about. Oh, I see somebody saying, hey, from Chicago. I'll be back in Chicago this week on Tuesday. No, I'll get there Monday night. We said, can we get a speak on it with Kiki Palmer? A speak on it with Kiki Palmer. Didn't we do that before? We did. We did that a long time ago. We did a speak on it with Kiki years ago, a couple years ago, when I had did the um, morning show with them. Like two days. Yeah. And we did it. And actually, I had a lot of fun, you know, chit-chatting it up with Kiki. But maybe we might be overdue. We should hit her up. Um, make sure you guys, you know, for those of you that want to know more about past guests on Speak On It, know that we have a playlist for Speak On It. It's so funny because Speak On It, we've had so many guests. Mainly, we've had a lot of Real Housewives guests. And we talk about, you know, Housewives so much. But we decided we're going to start doing more. Um, topics, not just housewives. We're going to have more people come on, speak on it to talk about all kinds of stuff. So it won't just be like, we just talking about real housewives. You know what I mean? Okay. So it's a lot of people commenting on the side. And with that being said, what are you doing in California? Did you hear you told me? Um, and I don't know if I can tell you guys which show I'm doing yet. I don't want to make any announcements, you know how that go, but I am doing, it's a, just a television show that I have to make appearance on, so I'm going to do that on Monday, and then I will um, be out of here, basically. <laughs> I got so much going on. Oh, somebody saw somebody, oh, I see people talking about verses. Ashley Griffin says, escape verses. Uh, yeah, so Versus has finally come together. They've been talking to us about doing Versus for a minute. Um, it was mentioned to me about doing Versus a long time ago when they were just doing like the songwriter battles on Versus. And, um, I was like, eh, I don't know if I want to do that. Cause you know, I was like, it's a lot of, you know, people that's doing big, big things. I don't know if I'm, you know. To the point where I want to do a versus or whatever. But then when they had mentioned doing the escape versus, and then I was like, cool, you know, um, that might work, you know. I mean, why not? And then it became this whole thing of who would we do a versus with? And then now, you know, that SWV is um the group that we're gonna be doing a versus against. Let me just say I got much love for SWV. You know, them my girls. I love them. I love their music. They actually was on our Great Escape tour when we came back and did it again for a couple summer. shows in the summertime. So, yeah, I love them. So it's all good. I mean, it's going to be fun from my understanding. We're still trying to, you know, put all the details together. They haven't told me exactly 
you know, where the venue is going to be, but I definitely think we're supposed to be doing it in Atlanta, as far as I know. Nobody told me anything different. Um, so, but yeah, I'm, I'm saying excited. Let me see. I'm trying to look at y'all comments. They're saying um, someone, Brianna is an attorney and she wants, you're always talking about your next move and what's in the works. So, how do you go about planning the next move? Who said that? What's Bri her name? Brianna. Okay. So, I was we looking at comments from the live chat. So this one is from Brianna. She says, Candy, I finally became an attorney. Much love to you. Shout out. Big, that's a big accomplishment. And now I'm thinking about what's my next move. You always talking about keeping something in the works, but how do you go about planning your next move? Well, for me, um it's different things that you know will determine what my next move is. So what I mean by that is like, okay, for, you know, people have different reasons, right? It could be financially, how much money will it make me or how, you know, what am I looking for to make or gain out of something financially? It could be um, how much time will it take for me to put into it? Like, you know, some opportunities, you don't have to put as much into it, but it may not make a lot, but it might be a consistent amount of money that you can get from it. So you'd be like, okay, it won't be so hard for me to do this on the side of what I already got going on. So maybe I'll do this because, you know, this will be some extra income I could have going on, you know, so, but it doesn't take too much of my time. So, you know, time, money, and then also you got to think about what's going to pop, what makes sense, what, um, what do I enjoy? You know what I'm saying? Because obviously I always like to do um, career and business moves, things that I enjoy and that I find to be fun and that I would do possibly even if it wasn't like a paycheck involved. So for me, um, I guess like for right, I mean, with you being an attorney, you kind of be like, okay, well, I mean, I guess, I don't know if you're working at a firm and you're trying to become partner or whatever so you're doing or either you maybe you're already a partner maybe you've already established yourself I don't know but then you're thinking like okay what else could I have going on okay what other skill sets do you have you know whatever you know is there another um is there a certain amount of money that you plan to invest in something that you feel like you get started I mean and then you just gotta think my next move how many people would be interested in it you know what I mean like Obviously, if you are a woman, you might want to get a business that other women, you know, would be interested in because it's easier for you to relate and to go places where you can connect and network with women for that business or whatever it is you're doing. You know what I'm saying? So um, it's a lot of things that go into figuring out what the next movie is for me right now. Um, right now, it's like um, a lot. I'm trying to fulfill dreams and different things that I want to do, you know. Um, so that's like my acting, um, what I've been doing pursuing is really hard. Like y'all, y'all see a couple of things that I actually get, but you just don't get to get to see how many auditions that I do that don't necessarily, you know, I don't necessarily get the part or whatever. So <laughs> it's like, kind of crazy. You did like 30 during COVID. Yeah. I did like, what, 30 auditions? That, that ain't, that's just, they feel like I did more than that, but, um, you know, some you come through, some work out, and some don't. So, yeah, I have some more roles and different things I'm playing. And then it's the other part of that where it's just like, okay, well, if I can't, um, if, you know, I'm tired of auditioning for other people's stuff. So me and my husband, we decided we was going to write our own stuff and and shoot our own show. So Todd um, had wrote this script, and we ended up shooting a pilot for another TV show, for a scripted show that we invested in and made ourselves, well, he's the producer of it. He wrote it, whatever, and I'm in it. And then we're gonna try to pitch it and get it placed. I mean, that's what everybody everybody else is doing. Like, why well, I gotta always be trying to get into somebody else's stuff? Why we can't just make our own, you know what I mean? And so I think a lot of times we gotta, as a people, we gotta stop trying to always fit into the mold mold of what other people are doing and sometimes just say forget it i'm just gonna invest in my own idea and do it myself <laughs> so they really like you and riley's pictures they're cute and what's riley up to 
Um, Who said that? Everybody's asking about Riley. I um, like your pictures. So everybody, a lot of people was asking about Riley. So Riley has mainly been in New York for the last, since I guess school started last year. She did come home for Christmas or whatever, for the, you know, the holidays or whatever. But she, other than that, she'd been in New York. So I was able to go by and see her at her apartment uh, while I was in town the other day for the reunion. I went to go visit my baby. Hundred damn apartment, child. So first of all, she, <laughs> okay, she was staying in the dorms at school for the first semester. And then she gave me this whole speech about it wasn't good for her mental health and she needed her own space and with COVID and all this stuff. And, and when I tell you, Riley needs to be a lawyer for real because she can talk her way into a situation or talk her way out of a situation. So she had worried me to death and stressed me to death until I finally broke down and said, OK, Riley, I'm just going to. Get it. Okay. I'm just going to go ahead and get you your own apartment since you, you know, acting like this is, oh, your mental health and all of this stuff is suffering from being in this dorm. Okay. You know, that's what is going on with the, the generation of the day. Everything is about mental health. So, okay, cool. So we're going to help you with that. We're getting you in your apartment. So we did that. Child, she in that apartment. Uh, did y'all see the episode on Housewives when Ace said he needed to go and help Riley so he can help her clean? He wanted to go over to New York to help her clean. Well, child, she needs Ace right now. She needs Ace. Or she needs somebody to help her clean that apartment up. That's all I got to say. <laughs> and then I promised her that I would not say anything for a whole entire a month, what she said, for a month and a half. She wants to be live stress-free. She doesn't need anybody saying anything to her that's going to stress her out or put her in a stressful place or do any of that. So I couldn't say nothing. So even though as a mom, I'm coming in there like, you know, I wanted to say something, but I couldn't say nothing. But then she was talking about my faces that I was making. You've already stressed me out. You already stressed me out. I said, I didn't even say anything to you, though. But you don't have to say anything. I can see it in your face. And you're stressing me out. I said, okay, 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 okay. I'm not saying nothing. I'm not. Don't forget my faces. I'm not saying nothing. So, anyway. People want to know. She's doing good. That's how I'm going to leave it. She's doing great, actually. Living her best life. Oh, and she changed her major. So, um, that was something that she always knew she wanted to do anyway when she got up to uh, to um, NYU. She really was focused on getting into NYU because that was one of her main schools that she wanted. She knew she was in, um, she wants to be a, a, well, as of now, because, you know, kids, once they get in school, you know, they change their mind once they get in it. But she always knew she wanted to be an entertainment attorney. So she said she wanted to be in L.A. or New York. She got into NYU. Now she's there. She's like, oh, I want to change my major. So she just recently got them got approved to switch into music business. So which it goes along with what you know she says she's gonna end up doing, which is being an entertainment attorney. So hands up, thank you, God, praise the Lord. That worked out. So she's gonna be doing what she wants to do, something she's excited about. She's in the apartment she wants to have. So now let's just hope she ain't got nothing to come back with else to say to somebody stressing her out about. Okay. You got it. Cause I ain't going to be saying nothing for the rest of this semester. I'm going to just let her do her and let her have her business to herself. Do anyway. You, do you want more kids and how do you balance it all? Somebody. Okay. Who's that? that? It's a, Everybody. Okay, more than one question. No, more than one person asked that I want more kids and how do I? But first of all, I do not want any more kids. I'm done having kids. Um, honestly, I don't even have no more uh, eggs in the freezer to have any more kids. Okay. <laughs> so, so if I wanted to have more kids, I would have to go back to IVF. That's not happening. 
I'm done. Um, Blaze is a handful. She has lots of energy. You know, how every kid is different. And they say that they always tell you that. But definitely all of our kids are totally different from each other. Blaze is a handful. And um, happy. She's a happy handful. But she's a handful. And yeah, she's the last one in the line. And we good with kids. Right now, we have a family of four kids. We got Kayla, we got Riley, we got Ace, we got Blaze. Number four. And then I have like a whole bunch of people that y'all don't know. I got a lot of kids in that I'm a part of their lives that I did not have them physically, but I've been in their life for years and I'm, you know, very involved in their lives. And I look at them as if they were like my own. So um, that's enough kids for me. You know what I'm saying? I don't need any more. Uh, <laughs> you know, and plus, you know, everybody loves to talk about how much I work and this, this and that. And how do I, you know, how can I work with, the, you know, the kids or whatever. So just to know, I do have a lot of support from my family, my husband, um, one of my friends who helps me keep my kids or whatever. So it's, it's a whole big village over there that's making sure that my kids are happy. Everybody's happy and everybody's doing well. Everybody so. wants to see the dungeon again. So we've got some surprises. Everybody wanted to see the dungeon again. Yes, me too. So the dungeon. With the dungeon, um, here's the thing. We would have been back on tour with the dungeon tour if it would have been up to us. But obviously with the whole what is going on with COVID or whatever. A lot of venues have been closing and it's been unpredictable. So we just haven't taken it back on tour. So when the world opens back up, we're definitely going to take it back on tour. But for now, I do plan on um, doing a um, online virtual ladies night out event. Well, it doesn't have to just be for the ladies, really, it's for everybody. So it's like a, it's not going to be the full dungeon tour because, you know, the dungeon tour is like a whole, you know, we have live performances from different artists and all that type of stuff. So we was talking about possibly doing that online with that included, but it's going to be, you know, obviously we like to have a little freaky deaky stuff happening. <laughs> so it's going to be a wild night online. And it's only for adults, okay? So it's not for the kiddos. It's for grown people. And we're going to do that very, very soon. We're putting it together now. It's going to be fun. And whoever is grown and is in the no judgment zone, you're welcome to get a ticket and come through. That's what it's going to be. And um, for me, uh, let me see, when people, it's so much, so many comments flying about. Uh, somebody said, don't invite Kenya. Uh, King is my girl. I love her to death. But you know, I don't really care what anybody's opinion is. I don't really, you know, I guess I'm different in the sense of, you know, I'm not, um, I'm not really secretive like that. Meaning as far as with myself, I'm kind of like, this is who I am and I own it. So she wants to come to the dungeon party and sit and, and be there and be like, oh my God, blah, blah, blah. I can't believe y'all did that. Then so be it. <laughs> she was open now. Yes. I mean, y'all know it. When we did the whole situation that happened with the um, party, it, we everybody was having fun. Everybody had a really, really good time. Um, you know, so I don't know why it went left the way it did, but it did go left at, after a certain point, but Oh, wow. Everybody see they're like, why Don Juan is always in the blogs now. What is it? Is it? I, I think it's because he's, he's... They said speak. Don Juan is in the blogs. I think because they're repeating the video. Like, he's part of Speak <laughs> on it now. And he's been helping you out. Oh, okay. Well, um, I guess, like, on some of the blog pages, they, you know, use some of the clips from our Speak on it videos. And Don Juan has been in a few Speak on it's with me. That is my boy. You know, I love Don Juan. Y'all know that. It is no secret. You know, we like to talk, chit chat it up. He's very vocal in his opinion about a lot of things. And we we have fun talking on Speak On It because he's one of those people who don't mind speaking on it. And um, sometimes that ends up putting us on a blog page from time to time. <laughs> but it is, 
what it is. I mean, you know, he's just telling the truth and being honest. And I don't really know why people have such a problem with it. Don Juan, um, he's my friend, but you know, he's also is a part of my business team or whatever. Um, he's the general manager of my company. Um, he deals with pretty much all of my businesses. Basically, he's the in-between between me and all of the divisions of every company I own. So he has his eye on everything that's happening to make sure that um, I'm able to stay in the loop on every business and nothing gets dropped. None of the balls get dropped. Okay. Uh, yeah, something like that. Anyway. So yeah, he actually works a lot and then he has his own business as well. So he does good. So they want to know how Kayla and Mama Joyce are doing. Kayla and my Mama Joyce. Kayla is doing good. Kayla is actually starting her own YouTube page. Um, I know she's getting set up to do that. Once she gives me the information, I'll make sure I post it and let y'all know. And have the tags on my page. So you know how when they let you tag other YouTube pages or whatever. Mm -hmm. I'll make sure I put hers up there when she gets it going or whatever. But um, she's in New York. She also has her own apartment, doing her thing, figuring out her fashion career because she still wants to do fashion. And she's also figuring out other things she wants to do. So that's what she's doing. My mom is doing well. Um, she's just um, finished getting her COVID vaccines. The vaccines kind of kicked her butt a little bit. Um, so she's had been feeling under the weather a little bit, but she's getting back to her normal self. Um, you know, laying down the law as Mama Joyce does. Okay. <laughs> Makia Michelle wants to know what female artists are you vibing to these days? Female artists that I'm vibing to. Um, well, I listen to a lot of Apple Music playlists, so everybody that plays on that, I listen to. Okay. But I will have to say Jasmine Sullivan's album has been my most favorite female album that has released in this past six months, at least. You know, um, I absolutely love the duet with her and um, Ari, what? what was it that she did to do it with? I don't know. I mean, let me start crowd and talking crazy because I'm on live and I don't, you know, I don't wanna, you know, I don't wanna be sounding crazy now and pull this album up. You know what I'm saying? Well, never mind. Y'all know what I'm talking about. I love her album, so I'm just gonna leave it at that. <laughs> Do people have questions about Shamia? Yeah, our links, huh? People. People have questions about Shamia and speak on it. A lot of people. That is your friend, and they feel that she was disrespecting you but it was okay oh i see somebody right here brown team says why did you let shamia disrespect you especially given what portia has done to you said, uh, shamia disrespectful, but how did it be i mean this is my question why did y'all feel like shamia was being disrespectful i mean to me if now i mean speak on is all about me allowing other people to come on and speak their opinion like i'm not here to um shut them down when they say things that is different than my opinion they're here to be able to openly and freely speak their opinion and if we are cool with each other then she should be able to say how she feels even if it doesn't agree with how i feel that's just how i that's just what i think and I mean, of course, she was trying to, you know, stick up for a friend or whatever. And that's what she's supposed to do. <laughs> I mean, I didn't take it as a disrespect. I just figured she was doing what she normally does. <laughs> I, mean, I, I didn't think it was a bad thing at all. I, I mean, I didn't. Um, I thought it was, you know, it was funny at certain parts because it's kind of like, you know, okay, well, you know, she was kind of trying to get on me and Don Juan about, 
and the conversation that we had had on the show and I guess whatever dumb one had said, she was like, oh, that was so wrong and blah, 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 you know, but vice versa. She can't get mad at us about our opinion either. Right? <laughs> it's the same thing. Hey, we both free to say what we feel. We say what you say what you feel. We say what, how we feel. And it's simple as that. Hey, Binge Worthy. Where is Binge Worthy? So I saw somebody say, hey, Binge Worthy. He, had said, he said, what's going on in California? Uh, what's going on in California? I'm, I got to shoot a show on Monday. It's an episode of a uh, of a TV series. So they would like to know, um, is there a speak on it tomorrow? There will be a speak on it tomorrow. I'm going to be speaking on it tomorrow. New one. Um, it's all about the New Orleans episode uh, and the little drama that starts happening out there, which y'all will see. I don't want to go too much into the speak on it because you'll see it tomorrow. So it's no need of me going into it today. Uh, somebody asked, was Tanya at the reunion? No, y'all know Tanya was not at the reunion, child. Like, this, well, one word to describe the reunion they would like to. One word to describe the reunion? Hmm. You gave me. Shut up, girl. Um, I don't really have one word that could describe the reunion, but I will say, um, I know some people was wondering, was it going to be a dungeon theme? I will say that it was. Well, I guess it's out there. People said, how was the dungeon reunion? Oh, well, I mean, I liked, as far as let's talk about was fashion. <laughs> she over there. She want me to say I was best dressed. I mean, I feel like I feel like everybody looked. Pretty. Everybody was pretty for sure. Everybody was pretty. Um everybody, everybody was pretty. You know what I mean? Um I probably was the only person that actually went all the way with the theme. Um, but y'all know I love a theme. <laughs> so it's not really surprising, you know what I mean? It's not surprising at all. And I can't show you any pictures yet because obviously Bravo wants to be the first to release the, the pictures. So when they release their pictures, then I'll let you see. You know, but yeah, I was, uh, it's not really surprising that I was, um, I went all the way there with the theme. Anyway, um, let's go do something else. What did they they want to do a, a few people, they want to do a contest to spend the day with you. They want to do a contest to spend the day with me. If you spent the day with me, what would you do? What would we do? Work. <laughs> you said work. <laughs> um, well, I can't take y'all on any sets right now because everybody, every set is like really extreme with their COVID rules. I'm like everybody. Um, when I tell you, I feel like I've been, I've, I've had a COVID test every other day this week, right? So I had to have a COVID test. Um, you know, Wednesday, Monday, what was that? Friday, tomorrow, Monday, I'm going to take one. It's like, because within this, sure. within a week, I'm going to have three, I'm going to have to do three different shows. So it's like each show wants another COVID test within a couple of days. So I'm going to tell you, I am COVID tested out. Really? <laughs> <laughs> and so unfortunately until um we get past this little point in life i'm not really going to be able to take anybody for a day in the life or take anybody with me anywhere because of that not simple um 
What advice would you give to newlyweds? Ooh, what a night! Nice, what advice? I'm an Ivy Life Coach. The advice, advice that I would give to new ways, because, oh, sidebar, my seven-year anniversary is next week on April 4th, so I'm super excited. But um, advice that I would give to newlyweds is um, communication. It's communication, 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 okay? And never stop having fun with each other, like, always Make sure you make plans to do things together. And I know, I think a lot of marriages, even though we love children and love babies, but sometimes marriages end up suffering after children come in because we as mothers and a lot of moms get so obsessed and caught up with being a great mom that they forget they got to take care of their mate as well. So remember that you still got to make sure you take care of each other consistently. And um, plan, plan dates, and never let it get old. Don't don't get boring. Try your best not to get boring. That's the main thing I would say. Try not to get boring and be boring. And like I hear when people be saying all that stuff, you know, like I notice like some people as they get older, they love being like, "Well, you too old for that now." Why are you doing that? You too old for that. You are, who came up with these rules about what age you got to be to have fun and do stuff? Like, I, I don't get that. Like, I say have fun. Live your best life to the fullest at all times with the person that you love in order to keep it new and keep it exciting. Okay? That's what I say. Um... Will they ever see Bolo again? Like Loretta LaRue said, love your top, sis. She's from the text, fam. Hey, Loretta. Do you want to explain what happened with the top? The top? Oh, <laughs> so y'all listen. Um, this is my top. I just bought this sweatshirt downstairs because... My luggage got lost yesterday, and I didn't have no clothes when I got here to L.A. So I had the same clothes on since yesterday, but at least when I was downstairs this morning, I at least saw they had an area where they had sweatsuits up on me, a little sweatsuit child. I, mean, I almost wasn't going to have anything. I was about to get super scared that I wasn't going to have anything, so I'm still trying to figure that out. But let's see. What else y'all got going on? I saw Bolo's name sliding up and down this for a minute but did y'all see that um eva my girl eva marcel she has a new show coming out on bet plus uh i believe it'll be in may but it's coming soon and she's the lead in the show which is awesome but bolo is actually a character in the show so y'all gotta watch her show you gotta watch it for her you know show her love and support her but you know, I think it's dope that, you know, with all the craziness that Bolo, you know, dealt with and everybody ringing his name around, at least to see that he has other things going on that you guys could be looking out for and checking out. So, yes, he's an actor as well, and he will be in um, Eva's show. So they that's pretty cool. They said I'm skipping all the good questions. They said you're skipping all the good questions. What's the good questions then? What about speak on it? I mean, you've already, I think for three, four weeks, you've said you have ex every year you ask everybody. Oh, oh, you saying about asking people to do speak on it? Yeah. I've asked all the girls to do speak on it. All of them. Every year. And every year y'all be on here and talk about why you ain't have this person on speak on it? Why you ain't have that person on it? They have to accept the invitation, y'all. They have to agree. To do it. I mean, I can't force people to do it. So, um, you know, I've, I've extended the invite to everyone um, to do speak on it. I mean, should I hit them back up again to say, hey, have you changed your mind? Do you, do you want to do speak on it? Maybe I should. I don't know. But if you tell me no one time, so a couple times, then sometimes it's like, okay, well, she'll let me know when she's ready. That's how I look at it. Um, Marlo, in particular, I asked her multiple times last year. I asked her multiple times this year. 
she finally just recently agreed to do speak on it. So we will have her on to do speak on it in within the next couple of weeks or whatever, right? Should be next weekend. Yeah, hopefully next weekend. But yeah, to, so I just used her as an example to say it's not like, you know. Sometimes it's family emergency. Yeah, or either they have their own situations that they're dealing with, or maybe they don't want people asking them questions about the show. Maybe they don't feel comfortable that, you know, I don't know. Um, <laughs> Andy Cohen has already been on Speak On It before. Go back to the playlist. Go through the playlist for Speak On It, and you will see. Somebody said, I know y'all, I know y'all see the questions about Portia. What about Portia? What about? I've asked Portia to do speak on it before, and she did not want to do speak on it. I ask her, are you guys cool? That's one, but I don't think uh, that's it. Y'all asked if me and Portia are cool. I mean, we're cordial. We're cool. Um, we, I mean, we're cordial. We're cool. I mean, it's not like we don't have the relationship that, like, her and Shamia has or anything. <laughs> Um, but I mean, we're not at odds or anything like that. Um, um, yeah, so I mean, I guess we're cool, you know what I'm saying? It's not, uh, it ain't really no story behind it. Um, Tony Leakes Lee is having a birthday. Let me see who he says. Tony, Tony Leakes Lee, she watched and she's going to go enjoy her birthday. Tony Leakes Lee, hey Candy, hang in for an hour. Now I have to go and enjoy the rest of my birthday. Oh, what's up, girl? Happy birthday, Tony. Um, I hope you are having an amazing birthday. I didn't really, we've been on here that long? Um, I only had 37 minutes, but that is longer than I thought I was going to be here. So we can. <laughs> um, okay, who's reading the questions? Jamie. I mean, Jamie is it's, reading the it's a lot of the same. They're asking the same questions. It's, it's um, versus. It's oh, and Jewish. sidebar. I'm not pregnant with people. I know y'all saw that clip on the show, but I was in a movie called Envy, which is coming out April 24th of this month on Lifetime. But my character was pregnant. So just so you know, I am no pregnancy really boom there's nothing here nothing i'm not pregnant okay just so you know <laughs> mm -hmm. um yeah they're they're asking about like other celebrities oh, let me see. Someone stuff in the, the blog jamie please ask candy if she responds to her text family still actually i do didn't i was um, talking about you guys today I was just with me or you. The text family. Yeah, I, I do. It's just that, you know, some days I see, I go and I look and I see the text and some days I don't. Um, you know, so I'm sorry if I missed your text, but I do. I go on there. Man, if I'm going through something, I go through these moments where I be kind of feeling like, stressed out or it must be a lot going on and, and I just don't want to talk to nobody. So <laughs> I probably was going through one of the moments in the last month. This morning I was going through it. Okay. I mean and I just had to hand it over to God. But yeah. I was having one of them days this morning. It's like everybody else, but it's all, oh, I see y Yara, Yara says it's almost Taurus season. Yes, honey, it's almost Taurus season. And guess what? It's going to be lit. October, wait, no, April 24 is going to be the release of the movie, um, Envy, on Lifetime. Then I believe possibly the reunion may air, possibly. Then after that, you got more reunion. You have the uh, verses with Escape. You have we're gonna do our dungeon slash experience. experience or whatever on virally. You gonna see that online and um, what 
virtually, excuse me, I always say virally, <laughs> virtually, then my birthday coming, then later the shy will be airing, then later in the month of May, so they it's like, know about the shy. I just got stuff going back to back to back to back, starting from the end of the month of April, and I'm looking forward to it, and that's the whole point, I just, just gotta keep stuff popping. Um, oh, everybody's asking, oh, about the shy, oh, the shy is, is gonna be good. When I tell you this season, it's like super, super good. Like the scripts that I've been, you know, that we filmed so far. We still filming, filming. Um, but, you know, just uh, the ep- I mean, the episodes that we filmed and some that I've already seen. It's good. They said, Jamie, my question ain't the same. I want to know, does Candy feel, how does she feel about her friend's support? for her the way, do they support her the way that she supports them? Which friends is she talking about? I, I think they just mean so you talk about on the show? I think or they just like... mean my in life in general. <laughs> um, do I feel like my friends support me the way that I support them? Um, some of them do. And some of them don't. <laughs> um, some of my friends, you know, I feel like, you know, naturally is gonna just support. Like I'm one of them type of people, you don't even have to ask me if I see you post it. If I saw it, then typically I'm gonna try to repost it, put it out there, let everybody know about it. Um and you know, show love to it. Um some like a lot, especially like my friends outside of show, a lot of times they're gonna go hard for me and support me way more than typically like my show, the, my girls, that's one RHOA. I would say this year, the girls on RHOA have been doing better about supporting each other, but um, they've done a little better this past year. But yeah, for years, I used to be like, yeah, it's a pretty ain't the same. <laughs> but, um, you know, it's just like I don't really like go off of what somebody else technically did. For me. that's not gonna affect how I am for them. You know what I'm saying? I, I, I'm that's just who I am. I'm gonna go hard for my people. That's just how I am. So regardless of what they're doing, I know how I'm rolling. You know. You so, um, let's see. Let's see what else is. Ooh, these these moments are just like going so hard. It's so much. They wanna. They do have songwriter questions, so you might wanna let them know about on that note that has started because um, sometimes you'll answer their questions on that note or songwriter questions or music questions, and then you also have music artists on there. Mm-hmm. So remind them about um, Yeah, um, I started doing this thing on, and I posted on my Facebook page, um, typically on what, on Thursdays? Where we do it? Mm-hmm. And it's called On That Note. And um, basically it's just like a songwriter thing. It, it's not necessarily a songwriter thing, but people, my music industry friends, like I ask some music industry questions, get you know advice, but then get like some behind the scenes stories about Things that's happening in their career and stuff like that. So, um, actually, I have CeeLo Green. CeeLo is going to be on the next one. So, hopefully, you guys will check that out. Um, it's so funny. People be wanting you to make an opinion about other people that have nothing to do with you. But Yeah, no, that, that's, that's what I'm uh-huh. saying. Like, she's skipping. I'm like, I, okay. I see somebody saying, what do you think of little Nas X music video? Everybody's asking. Super creative. Super creative. It's like wild crazy over the top but you have to give it to him for super creative like whatever like see i mean i don't care about people's sexual choices so to me that has nothing to do with me and um that that part of it so i don't know if people want to make judgments about that but i mean i love the fact that this is something he felt he needed to do because Obviously, it hasn't been that many open um, black male, um, um, openly gay artists, period, but especially not that rapped, you know. So, 
But this song isn't necessarily a rap song because he seemed like he's singing Man. some of it, a lot on it. But anyway, I feel like um, some of the, it, it's a little, um, uh, a little edgy now, you know, with the whole talking about, you know, basically touching on the devil and hell and heaven and all of that stuff and the Garden of Eden and him using a lot of the stuff from the Bible in it. I mean, yeah, I mean, per clearly he was purposely trying to push some of y'all buttons. But for me, he didn't push my buttons. He just made me be like, wow, that was creative. Like the, the video itself was over the top and very creative and was one of those things that I would have never thought about doing, but I'm just like, okay, well. Like the look of it was amazing, meaning just the cinematography and all of that. So I'm looking at stuff different than what y'all looking at. You know, I'm looking at like, how did they come up with that? Like who thought to do that? <laughs> you know what I mean? The, I just thought it was super creative. Then I also was thinking like, damn, he can work that pole better than me. Like I could never do that. Like I could never do that thing where he was like crawling on the pole and the slide. I was like, well, damn, he had skills on the pole. He worked the pole, okay. <laughs> but, I think he deserved an award for that video, for real, for real. <laughs> I mean, y'all can be mad I y'all too. I mean, that, that damn video was creative as hell. Like, he was working the hell out that damn pole, even though, you know, I'm a little like leery when people bring the whole hell and devil and this stuff, but outside of that, creativity was up there. Anyway. <laughs> They're excited about verses. <laughs> verses. I'm super excited about verses. Set. You know what I'm saying? You know, because I mean, I feel like some of y'all be doubting escape. And I think y'all really be forgetting how many hits that we were a part of together, collectively and individually. I need y'all to remember, and we're going to make y'all remember on the day of verses. <laughs> Y'all need a reminder because some of y'all I be seeing on them comments, especially some of the interviews I seen, I was like, hmm. Yeah, no, nah, the disrespect is the part that I just be like, oh. Okay. So I cannot wait for verses personally. Now, mind you, like I said, I absolutely love SWV. I am a fan. I think they are dope, amazing. Love them. But y'all, fans, just know, y'all need to remember, escape individually and collectively together. We got records now, and I think y'all forgetting that. <laughs> On that note, um, I think I might need to let y'all go. Fine, my good. Should I do this again? Yeah, this was fun. Um, what is what are they saying about? It's so many comments coming in. I can't even see. Let's see. They just, yeah, they got a lot of questions. Um, okay, so I don't want to give away my strategy because I see people in the comments saying, are you going to play this? Are you going to play it? We not giving away our strategy, people. We not telling y'all what we, just all you need to know. You might want to go check our track record. Okay. All of our singles, individually, collectively, as well as, I mean, realistically, there are some songs on the album that wasn't necessarily, may not even had a video, but still was 
still was the shit. Like a softest place on earth. Mm. You know what I mean? We never did a video for that, but stop playing. <laughs> I mean, and then all oh, the songs that we we featured on a lot of records too. Mm. Soundtracks, all that kind of stuff. So anyway, um, yeah, I'm not going there with y'all. I'm not going there with y'all. Somebody said, with me and Akbar do a song? Akbar and I, I mean, sure, why not? Akbar is my cousin. A lot of people may or may not know that. Akbar is funny. She was on Speak On It. She was on Speak, speak On It before. Y'all need to go back and look. Akbar is hilarious. Akbar V. She raps. If y'all don't know, you need to check her out. Okay, is that it? Are, are we saying anything else today? or We can come back. They like it. We can try it again. Do you know? Do quick ones here and there. Yeah. Well, I guess that's going to be it for today. I don't want to like wear y'all out with be on here too long, but thank you for joining me. I mean, I wish I knew how to, this is my, I don't really know how to work this thing. Like, it would have been cool to be able to have people to join in on the live. You say you can't do that on regular YouTube. You got to use what? We can, we can, we can do that. We can have guests. We can figure it out. now. Okay. All right. Well, we'll do that next time. It'll be through YouTube though. Um, but if you did want to do one more. One more question? Ivan Wesley asked about um, the Beyonce, the album. The working with Destiny's Child. Working with Destiny's Child? I mean, it was amazing. That was a long time ago. <laughs> it was a very long time ago when they were still a group. Um, they were super young at the time and they were really great to work with. Um, it was, I was just talking about this the other day in an interview I had to do. Um, it was one of those situations where when Shakespeare and I came to Texas, um, Matthew knows their dad. He was like, yeah, you know, we pretty much already know who we're going to work with. You know, we already got this, you know, plan, album planned out. But, you know, we'll let you, you know, try to see what you do, you know. <laughs> he really didn't, I guess he didn't really uh, necessarily want to or really think that we were going to contribute to the album like that. And um, I think it was more so the A&R from the label who suggested that we came to work with the girls. But anyway, we went from him not knowing if we would get any songs on the album to ending up with five songs on the album. So the writings on the wall album. That was a great album. It's a fun experience. It was great working with them. Those girls work hard, okay? And um I will feel will forever cherish that experience because it was a great experience. Um not to go too far deep into it, but yeah, I enjoyed it. Now I'm gonna. What? What's going on with Remy Ma? What if? What I don't know. Asking? That's the number one. Her and Lil, Lil Nas are all they're talking about. I must need to go back on the blogs because I didn't see what happened. Did something happen? I missed it. So I I'm, gonna, I'm gonna go find out so I can see what y'all talking about. But um, I can't speak on that because I don't know what you're talking about right now. So. I'm going to have to go find out. But with that being said, much love. Thank you for joining me. And I'll catch you later. That's it, right? Yeah, that's it. All right. Bye, y'all. See ya. We got to record space. Hello? We end in the stream, right? End, oh, yes. In the stream. Did it say save it?